you had mentioned before we started this whole conversation, you've done some interesting deals. And you, you actually, just a couple minutes ago, you were talking about how there were some deals where you had to write the check. Sounds like some deals may, maybe went bad. Maybe you're in the middle of a deal that might go bad, which is something that I don't hear a whole lot from land investors. Usually deals don't go bad or they don't lose money. It sounds like you're a little bit more cavalier in the sense that like you're willing to offer more, you're willing to take more risk. Can you tell us a little bit about, about that? Like what happens when a deal goes bad with a land deal? Like, why does it go bad? Like what went wrong? What Was there something you could have done to fix that or avoid that? I only have one deal that I've ever really lost money on. I've had some that I break even on. One that I broke even on, I bought it in an HOA community. And then right after I bought it, the HOA is like, you got to trim the bushes for $2,000. And then for some reason, I had to sell it for like 40% less than any other place in the, in the HOA. It wasn't selling for months. So that one I broke pretty much broke even on. But one of them I, I lost money on, it had um, in Shelton, Washington, which is near where I live, it had a, uh, a sewer line kind of going in front of it. Okay, so like, hey, this property has sewer. We're set. It has water, sewer, power. Good, done deal. Turns out, even though I had a builder check it out, who did a great job? He did exactly what I wanted him to do. The sewer line that went down that street, its capacity was maxed out. So the only way you would know that is it is if you were putting in an application to connect to the sewer. So you're Gosh, not going to see that's that crazy. on on normal due diligence. Yes. Yeah. So the sewer cost was going to be an additional thirty thousand um, dollars. I ended up only writing a check for nine, but still, but so that took my profit and just crushed it. Just crushed it right down because it had a sewer line in front of it, it had a manhole, all this stuff, but the pipe's diameter there was only enough for the certain houses that were on there and they couldn't add any more, which is what it is. Could they not I mean, like a septic tank? Uh, with that one, they could have, but it would have been a tough one because of the slope of the property, but you saw a sewer in front of it. The property to the left and to the right both had sewers. The property across the street had a sewer. Every single property around it had a sewer but this one, and it was a capacity there because of the line it was hooked up to. Yeah, that, that's a perfect example of of like the ugly side of land investing, where it's like any reasonable person would have thought that that's fine. And like with a house, that never would have happened. Like you wouldn't even have to ask that question, but that's just one of those gotchas that, yeah, it, it, that can happen to the land. It's a bummer. 